Today I'm going to show you how I transform this photo to this with just a few adjustment layers. Super easy to do. I'll show you step by step how I edited this. I also have a link in the description if you want to watch how I retouched this model's skin from this to this. So if you want to watch that part one, link in the description. So we're going to go to layer, new adjustment layer, and then curves. Keep in mind, I did not practice what I'm going to be doing. So we're just, this is just me editing candidly and I'm not really sure how this is going to turn out, but I know it's going to be amazing. So we have the curves layer and I'm just going to add a little bit of contrast and light here. Now the question is, do I want to raise up this point and make it a bit softer or do I want it to be a bit more like this, more contrasted, maybe something like this. That's already looking beautiful. Like this is the end of it. I'm like, okay, one layer and we're done. That's it guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs> okay. But look at the difference. Just the one curves layer made. I think I kind of want to bump this up just a little bit more like this. And one thing I also want to try to do is try to experiment with the color of the greens. So let's go to selective color and let's go from reds to yellows and see what that will give us by going back and forth here. It's the yellows. Oh, this is so beautiful. Wow. Look at that. Sometimes I'll just go to the yellows and selective color and then just decrease the yellow all the way down and look at the beautiful tones that it gives me and then we're gonna turn up the blacks I kind of like this I will bring this up just a little bit so for the yellow we're at negative 23 right now so that's before and after what I like to do in the neutrals tab is go to black and just increase that and it just adds this beautiful dimension to the photo. And then we can add in some yellows if we'd like. There's just so many things that you can do in selective color. Okay, and then we're in the greens now. And I love this tone of the greens. It's actually really pretty. And we're going back and forth. I kind of like how it's light. So before and after it kind of just lightened it up that's really pretty and then layer new adjustment layer i want a little bit of warmth to this photo do i want to do photo filter let's see how that looks hmm what do we think soft light okay sometimes you gotta do a little zoom out you're like i'm not sure let's zoom out here I don't know. I don't know if I'm liking this one too much. Maybe color. Just to add a little bit of warmth to the photo. Because, I mean, it could still be, it could still work without it. But I kind of like it there. It's that curve, you guys, it's that curves layer that's doing all the work, doing all the heavy lifting there. Okay, so we have these three layers so far. I want to add just a few more like 30 minutes later and 100, 100 layers <laughs> layers later, I'm still here. I'm like, okay, and um, for layer 2000, we're going to be adding. My computer crashes. I was just joking. Actually, I got a new computer finally after 17 years. I finally got a new computer. So it's been running so smoothly, and I'm finally able to retouch and do all the things that I've been wanting to do because my computer previously was just so, so slow was so difficult for me to do anything. So what I did now is went to gradient map and then selected this gradient. We get we have a bit of nude brown and then press OK. Set it to luminosity. I'm just playing around with it to see what we can get. So if we go through each layer, you'll see what it does. Here, I'll move up this way. So usually what I would do is just go through, but it's such a low opacity, you won't see how it affects the photo. So we're, the opacity, I'm gonna bump it up to about 50 so you can see what that will do. And I'm just gonna go through each one. And this is what I like to do when I'm just experimenting. I wanna see how it's gonna look with different layer settings. So definitely would recommend it. Like even that's kind of cool. Like if you were to lower the opacity, like that could, 
that kind of that kind of looks nice i mean i don't mind it it is on the cooler side though i think i want something more warm toned for this one so let's try to do maybe soft light and for me the trick is to keep it at a low opacity so four percent that works for me and i'm going to do one more curves layer And then I'm going to go to the blue section and I'm going to see what we can do with that. So something like this, even if you wanted it to have a bit more blue, but also have some more yellow tones. I'm all, I'm all for weird colors, honestly, like go for it. If that's what you like in your photography, I'm, I support it. <laughs> so something like this even, it's kind of, I kind of like it. A little bit more yellow I do like the yellow in this so something kind of like this and I do want a bit more contrast so I'm going back to that first curves layer and just bringing that down and what you can do is also create another point simply by by clicking and then just bringing down a point or bringing up a point just depending on what you like just adding more points to the curves layer you could also do something like this let's see how that looks I'm gonna put all of these into a folder all of the colors and layers we just added group this and I want to see the before and after that's before that's after I feel like we can add just a little bit more color what do you guys think let's do something with a bit more color I want to go back to selective color neutrals let's do something a little bit more even something like this. And then what we can do is I know the colors are going to seem a bit much, but we can again always change up the layer setting. And going through each one, you can see like even this is kind of cool. You see the color of the flowers and everything? That is actually really cool. Okay, I actually love that. So it's set to hue, opacity is at 44. And we're going to turn that on and off. I'll show you guys how that looks. That's actually really pretty. Is this ugly or is it just like, do you guys like this or is it just me? <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like it. It's very, it's, it brings out the colors a lot. It's very different. I actually kind of like this. Okay, here's before, here's after. This is an option. If you want more, if you're someone who loves a lot of color in your photos, the hue layer, you go to the neutrals. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this layer down to the bottom and see what difference that makes because sometimes the, the where your layer is sitting amongst all the other layers really makes a difference. For instance, I'm moving it around here and you can see how it's changing the photo. So I'm moving it to the top and you'll see how that changes as well. I kind of like it sitting at the top. That's actually really pretty. It, this could be just me. What do you guys think? Did I ruin it? Lastly, let's do one more black and white layer. I'm going to go from normal to soft light. You guys got to tell me in the comments, did I, did I do too much? Did I take it too far? Was it nice before? I, I, just, I just wanted the colors to pop and I really feel like this works. And one thing you can do on the black and white layer is select this tint and then just add a bit of warmth to the photo. And you can really play around with this right here. For instance, I'm making it even brighter orange. Like watch, I'll show you guys how the different colors look. Look at that. Just changes up your entire photo. Like, oh, that's kind of pretty. That's really pretty as well. So what I'm saying is just experiment. Try a little bit of everything. You, I used to be editing for, I mean, I still edit for hours. Now I know at least what everything does. So just experiment, see what all the different layer settings do. I actually really like this. I'm liking this, you guys. This is going to be it for this. I, I'm so happy with how this turned out. The main colors that we added was within the hue layer. Without it, this is how it looks like. So you could do something a bit more natural if you wanted. 
but I do love those whims. It's kind of like whimsical colors. Again, the opacity is at 55. Let's bring that up to 100 so I can show you. And that's how it would look like. But we're going to bring it down just for the final. So I can show you the full before and after. So this is before and this is after. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Let me know what you guys think of the final photo. And thank you so much for watching.